Hi, welcome to 2024, the first video of the new year. It is January 2. I'm on my way to meet up with David uh, to help plan my sister's gender reveal. In case you missed it, I planned her last gender reveal. That was during the lockdown and we had so much free time and we were all just kind of cooped up at home. So there was a lot of time to plan and really flesh out an idea and kind of go a little nuts in true dido fashion <laughs> just just be a little just like a tiny bit extra i don't mean to be things just work out that way but this time we were all together for my niece's birthday dinner and one of the kids asked me if i was planning the gender reveal and we were just kind of talking and we came up with like this crazy idea so i told my sister if you're if you don't have anything planned i'm game to set something up for you so we decided that i should link up with david who planned her first gender reveal uh, when chris asked me to do this like i was really thankful because the thing is i never get you a christmas and birthday gift because you already have everything i'm willing to pay for for another person uh, <laughs> Love you, Thanks, Love you. Okay, so without further ado here we go. I am super, super duper grateful for because she wants this to happen on January 7th, which means David and I have five days to come up with something to surprise her and Slater. So it's gonna be fun. It's going to be a little hectic and I really hope we get it done. Happy 2024. My co conspirator. <laughs> <laughs> Make sense to you? Yes. I mean, I guess. If you're confident about the math, I'm confident about the math. I'm not confident about the math, but I feel like we can figure it out. We're not building a house. Dude, you know what's gonna happen? We're not building a house. It doesn't need to stand. It can't be that wrong. It's literally this structure. It can't be... Like, I don't imagine us screwing it up that hard. I'm back home. That was a very, very productive morning. We have almost everything we need to start building our little project. The only thing I need to do now is run over to Chris and Slater's place to borrow a nail gun to put everything together. So let's go do that. Wow, is it new or you just keep it in the box? It's fairly new. Yeah. So, Kanisha, young strengths. Uh, Anisa, this is the battery. Uh huh. This is how you charge it. Okay. So, what you just put it here. Okay. Stapler, you just think of it as stapler. Yes. Yay! Thank you. I'm excited. What is this agenda reveal? I don't know. <laughs> Secret. I'm back. It's the next day. Can I just say, I am so happy to be collaborating with David on this project because if I was doing this on my own, this would be the point where I would start to panic about how little time I have to prep everything. But for some reason, because I know that he's there, I just feel more confident 
like knowing that there's somebody else there who can help out and troubleshoot. Before I start painting, I realized I never really explained what the plan was. So my initial idea is to create a dunk tank. I wanted two dunk tanks, one for Seder and one for Chris. And then if the Seder got soaked, then it would be a boy. If Chris got soaked, then it would be a girl. That was my initial idea. And I pitched this to David and he was really into the idea. But then we realized that this is going to be my sister's birthday party as well. So one of them got soaked and it would just be a hassle for them, you know? So we decided instead of water, we would use confetti. And because we only have four days to put everything together, we decided to condense the idea into one, one mechanism, one dunk tank for lack of a better word. And what we've come up with is we're going to build this four poster frame situation, cover the top part, decorate it with pink and blue paper, and then inside that top decorated pink and blue paper part is colorful confetti, different ribbons, things like that of the color of the gender that it's going to be. There's going to be like a false bottom underneath and then two ribbons. And then once they pull the ribbon, it will release the false bottom drop confetti all over them. So that is like our simplified version that we are going to attempt to build tomorrow. So David's coming over tomorrow to put everything together, but I thought I would get a head start today by priming all our wood pieces so that tomorrow they're ready to paint and decorate. I'm gonna start off with these smaller pieces of wood. This is gonna be the top and bottom borders of our stand. I, we had them cut it at an angle so we can assemble it as such and then it becomes a square. But first, I need to prime them all. Very nice. So I realized I don't actually have to prime all four corners because as David likes to remind me over and over again, we're not building a house. This is a prop for a gender reveal that just needs to last a couple of hours. So you know what? I'm just priming the areas that I know I'll need to repaint later on. So Right now, what I'm doing for the rest of these is I'm just focusing on the sides that I know the audience is going to see. And then I'm gonna move on because I need to work faster and smarter and not waste so much time trying to make it perfect. I'm done for the day. I'm covered in paint and so is my camera a little bit, but that's fine. So everything is primed. All the sides, all the important sides anyway are primed. Tomorrow, all we have to do is assemble, paint it pink and blue, and then figure out some kind of mechanism to do the dropping of the confetti that we want to do. But I think, I think we're in a good spot. I think it, this is definitely something we can finish before this weekend. Hello, it's a brand new day. I'm still wearing the same shirt. I'm gonna point it out because somebody else might notice and think I'm being gross. I'm designating this as a painting shirt because I already got paint on it and I don't wanna get paint on more items of clothing. So I'm just gonna keep re-wearing this every time I need to paint something. There you go. Uh, David is 
scheduled to come this afternoon so we can start on our build but i can feel the anxiety of feeling like i'm not gonna have enough time starting to build inside of me so i think i'm going to try try attempt to put start putting it together on my own uh, that way we can get like a little bit of a head start i've discovered a little flaw in the plan so what we wanted to do was to take these form a square on top and then nail it to the supporting four columns uh, unfortunately these are the nails that i got from slater for his nail gun they can they'll fit they'll be able to connect the pieces going this way because they're long enough to do that but they cannot go all the way through this piece of wood and make it to the next piece of wood so the nail gun would have really sped up our process but we're not going to be able to use it to assemble this thing okay i'm scared here goes nothing Oh, hey, that sort of worked. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I'm gonna add a second one on this side because uh, the way they cut the wood, it's not like super flush against the other piece. So it's not gonna be perfect, but I just want it to hold together a little bit better. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Power tools. Very, very exciting. holds together this is so janky like the edges don't match up at all the nails are sticking out I'm still gonna fix that but <laughs> it works <laughs> I've moved the entire operation over from that side to this side because this area of the ceiling is much higher and I couldn't get these to stand up without hitting the roof over there Okay, I've been on quite a journey. So I tried to nail in the pieces. The wood was way too thick and it was way too difficult for me to attempt to drive the nail into the wood. I don't know if I was just weak. So I was very, very discouraged. I made a quick run to the hardware store to buy additional drill bits and longer screws because nailing this thing together is just not an option. So let's hope this works out better than my first try. I did it. It worked out. It feels good to finally be making progress. David's here to save me from all the math. Hi. <laughs> I'm not really doing math. This is I don't know why, but I still get really self-conscious about filming when other people are around. And also, there was a lot to get done. So I had to put you guys on a time lapse and then we got to work. We spent a couple of hours continuing with the work that I had already done. The nails where I had nailed the frame together were getting in the way of the screws so they had to go and that was a whole struggle all on its own. Then after about two hours of going back and forth and trying to put this thing together, I realized that much of the work that I had done on my own was really just getting in the way. And I am humble enough to acknowledge my mistakes. It's me. 
so we decided to just take it all apart and start over, which is why we ended up finishing so late this night, but also why we only accomplished getting the frame done. Woodworking is a skill that I've wanted to pick up for a very long time. It's definitely a goal of mine for 2024, which is part of the reason why I was game to try this in the first place. But much like when I took up sewing, this skill has been a lot harder to pick up than I thought. It really helps to be doing this with a friend. I have a tendency to get very myopic about the wrong things, the unnecessary details that nobody but myself would notice. So just having another set of eyes and another opinion to chime in every so often has been great. And seeing somebody else's thought process and workflow has taught me so much. I have a little helper today. Izzy came over to help me start painting because we finished so late last night. I really thought we would finish. Who helped you? Uh, Uncle David. I really thought I would finish the structure and painting yesterday, but we just finished the structure. That's all we were able to do. We really overestimated our skill level. So today we have to reinforce the thing that we made yesterday. So I was out all morning buying materials for that and then we have to paint it. And that's what you are here to help me with. And hopefully we will finish it today or at the very latest tomorrow. We have two more days. Oh. Yeah. All right, but first, before we get painting, we gotta change. So, ha! all set to go paint. Let's do this. So this is what we finished building last night. If this breaks, you don't Dude, don't bad. shake it. Don't shake it too hard. It's it's very fragile right now. Where does it stop? Which is why it's so tall because Uncle Slater is so tall and we have to make sure it doesn't hit his head. Which is why this morning I bought all this extra pieces of wood to act as support. So that's what we need to do first is we need to attach supports on each corner so that it's a lot sturdier and then we can paint it. This is the part of every project where I become really, really bad at documenting what's happening. I just really want to get things done. So I concentrate on working and I forget to turn on the camera or show you guys what's happening. So Izzy had to go back home. Uh, we didn't even get to paint today. I've been working on drilling these support beams on either side and this side, this side is done. I need to keep working on this, the top half. Already the bottom half feels so much more secure like earlier. It was so very jittery it, it swayed from side to side now the bottom doesn't do it, but the top Kind of still does so I'm hoping once I have those beams secured in place It's going to be a lot more sturdy. I was drilling one beam upside down like this I got some sawdust in my eye, so I had to like wash everything off now i'm wearing one of those remember remember during lockdown we had those half masks so i'm wearing one of my old one of those as safety gear for my eyes but yeah i'm gonna get back to work so i can finish this tonight at least another problem that i've been struggling with is because i don't have a circular saw when i buy the wood i have to ask them to cut it at an angle so i could attach it in this way but because obviously i couldn't bring the big structure around for them to measure and find out the exact angle to cut it at they're all like a little bit off like they don't sit flush so i kind of have to like puzzle out which pieces fit the best where and then just kind of hope for the best like i said it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to get done at this point So the whole everything is at a weird angle is slowing me down but also the fact that my drill bit is not long enough to go through the entire length of wood is also really slowing me down because what's happening is I have to pre-drill the hole before I screw in the screw. I have to go in one way 
come back out and then go in the other way so uh, there's a lot of measuring that's going on trying to make sure that the hole is in the same place i'm not just complaining at this point i'm telling you all the problems i had leading up to this point i'm an absolute beginner i have zero experience with woodworking so this is all very very new to me and i know i must be doing so many things completely wrong but this is the best that i can do with the knowledge that i have As much as I would love to keep talking to you guys, I need to concentrate and finish this if I don't want to finish super late tonight. So I will check back in tomorrow morning when hopefully this is all done. <laughs> she is done. She is assembled. It went from being really, really shady like this, this will not work at all to actually, it's not bad. It's completely tilted. I, I took a level and it's about like three degrees tilting to the back but you know what it'll survive a couple of hours for the gender reveal and that's all I need it for so now I can finally get to painting I don't know how smart this is at this point also can I just say building this whole thing is like doing leg day for three days straight because of the amount of squats I've been doing anyway now I'm going to paint it um, half blue half pink to match the cartelina that we were able to buy i'm going to try my best to match it as best i can because i do have like a shade of blue lighter than this and a shade of blue darker than this and i'm hoping by mixing them together it'll come up with the same shade if it's not exact i'm not going to stress about it it's just going to have to do if you hear that sound the fan is on to protect me from being eaten alive by mosquitoes so oh here goes nothing I think it looks pretty good. I'm not sure, but here's our first test. Where can I test this on? My mixing stick. Oh, you know what? That is not bad. Yeah? Uh, it's not quite right, but it's good enough. We're just gonna go for it. side is done. I had so much leftover paint that I just decided to paint the palette because why not. Now comes the trickier part, trying to mix this specific shade of pink from this baby pink shade that I have. So looking at it, I think what I need is a little bit of magenta. So let's give that a shot. A little pink, a little primary magenta. Yeah, no. No. Not. Not at all close. Not even a little bit. All right, you know what? It's not perfect, but I'm just gonna go for it then. David's back! We're Hi. putting on the finishing touches. I like how I'm doing the crafty things like taping and you're the one doing the drilling. And <laughs> Let's be honest, cutting. you you built most of this. <laughs>
cool. It looks okay. It's kind of cute. Right? Yeah. Go. Carnival booth test one. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> that needs work. <laughs> okay. Take two. Take two. One, three, two, three. three. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Success. What an ugly color. <laughs> with one successful test under our belt, we decided to try again with the wrapping paper in the hopes that it would be prettier than the manila paper. The wrapping paper didn't rip as well as the manila paper and it had a tendency to fall in huge chunks which we were afraid would cover their faces. So even though the manila paper didn't look as nice, we decided to just go for that instead. So we spent the rest of this night finalizing all the things that we would need and getting ready for the next day. Gender reveal day. Today is the day of the gender reveal. The party starts in about two hours. I'm here early to set up. I'm trying to decide where I want to set up. Like somewhere behind you where we had it for Sevi's gender reveal would be nice. Or somewhere over there I think with the city in the background would be nice. But I'm a little worried because the clouds are looking kind of gray. So uh, I'm worried that it might rain. So we might have to set up here behind me in the shaded portion. And hopefully not make too much of a mess. I'm just waiting for David. He has the balloons. Akora. And then we can set everything up. There is. It will do the job it's supposed to do. <laughs> Can somebody live in this? No. Can this be turned into a playhouse? No. I found a danger screw. Where? There it is. No, you were just touching That's it. That's inside. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever child tries to go inside that's this their thing own is their fault. own fault. Yeah. Wait, how do we help? <laughs> if we yeah, want to lay it, we need a ladder. Tilt it up anyway. We should actually put it up first so we decide if it's on the pallet sing or not, it, so we're not swinging it around. Uh, I hope it works. <laughs> <laughs> it'll work, it'll work. We yeah. tested it out. Uh, it's two people who don't know what they're doing trying to build something. Sounds so quite so well for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Do, you, do you see the vision now, yeah. guys? Yeah. You're gonna lift from there? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Three, two, one, up. Like, oh, table. <laughs> this build, is as far build, back build, as I can go. Lift, one, two, three, up, back. Two, Look at that, it's two, centered. One. I've heard that the first gender reveal was David and the second one was you, yes. right? So yeah, can you talk about like the difference between the ones that you prepared individually now that you've collaborated together? Well, the first one, they gave us more time. <laughs> the second so one, they're like, time. oh, hey, um, do it on the 14th. I'm like, yeah. okay. Like, oh, we can't do the 14th. Can you do on the 7th? Like, okay. <laughs> it was a true collaboration. <laughs> Between kindred spirits. <laughs> Max. How do we look? Yeah. Oh, right? I don't think it made a difference. Does it? It's still so bright. <laughs> there, yeah, perfect. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's cool. Just a little added, you know. This is next level DIY stuff, man. Done, 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 done. People are arriving. Perfect timing. 
it's like it's like a mix of both. I like it. Yeah. Something it's, beautiful but fun. <laughs> yes. yes. It's like whimsical. It's um, It's so us. It's this is our baby. It's extravagant <laughs> and extra. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right? Pretend it's a pinata. That's exactly what we are thinking of. Exactly. <laughs> we planned this whole thing. If you have a fourth baby, yeah. you plan it and we want a surprise yeah. and you know the bar is pretty high. Or so. give us a giant budget that will hire other people to yes. do it. <laughs> because I have an idea of what I want to do. You, want, you have another one? Yeah, but it's expensive. No. <laughs> Let's have a little bit of a 